My name is Carrie Limaster with the UF IFAS Extension in Orange County. Today we're going to be looking at retrofitting your irrigation system. Now this can sound very complicated and kind of intimidating to homeowners, but today we're going to look at a very easy method to retrofit your irrigation system. Now what we have right here is one of our very traditional spray heads in the landscape. And if you look, it's along a hedge here. It's going to do a good job of putting out water, but it's probably not going to be as efficient as we'd like. What we'd want to do is put the water just where we want it. We want to keep it off of the house and off of the walkways. Just put it right at the base of the plant. So today, we're going to look at how to do that. One problem that we come across when we're retrofitting to micro irrigation is that the pressure coming off of these um, heads is going to be a lot more than our micro irrigation system needs. To really simplify that, what I've got here today are two pressure compensating manifolds. You can see that the one in my right hand has eight different outlets. The one in the left has four. You can really use whichever one you need for your landscape. Today we're going to use the eight. It gives us a few more options. To start this process, all we're going to do is come here and unscrew our traditional spray head. Let me get that off of here. It's been a while since this was taken off. And the next thing we're going to do is use our, ear, our manifold that we have here with this filter built in. I'm just going to go ahead and set that right inside there and simply screw this manifold right on there. Since it is pressure compensating, it has that built-in pressure reducer. So we don't have to worry about adding another element to this. Once that's installed there, each of these outlets is gonna be a possible connection for our spaghetti tubing. So all I'm gonna do is add this. And this is just quarter inch tubing. We call it spaghetti hose because it kinda of looks like spaghetti and it's really easy for us to move around. From there, I'm just going to add this little emitter. And once this emitter is on here, and all I'm doing is pushing it on that barb, we can place it wherever we want in the landscape, such as right down here at the base of the plants. And we can also use this really easily for some potted plants. So let's go look at that. As we move down here to the next head in our irrigation zone, you can see we've already added some of the spaghetti tubing. Now one thing that we're going to do is we're going to change out the entire zone. That means all those heads that come on at once, we're going to change to micro irrigation. The reason for this is our traditional heads spray water in gallons per minute. They're putting out a lot of water very quickly. They're covering a large area so they need to. With our micro irrigation and our little emitters that we're using, this is going to emit at the rate of gallons per hour. So it's going to be much slower because it's going right where it needs to. Because it's so efficient, micro irrigation is actually exempt from watering restrictions, which works out perfectly in the case of potted plants like we're looking at here now. If we come down here, you can see we've got the, our parsley plant right here, and all we're going to do is put this emitter right in the center of the pot. We can adjust it for a greater or smaller area coverage and it should work really well. We've also got the option, and you can see right here, we're using all of the emitters here, but if we weren't going to, all we have to do is put this little cap right on there and it'll be fine. If we ever want to add more, it's an option. We just have to pop it off and we'll be set to go. Again, really a nice system to use for potted plants. So in conclusion, micro-irrigation is a really simple way, especially when you use these pressure compensating heads, to help save water and money in your landscape. If you have any other questions, contact your local county extension office and they'll get you started in the right direction.